As the Longines Global Champions Tour reaches its climactic event in Doha, we visited championship contender Rolf Joran Bengtsson to explore his relationship with Castle Ask. I was quite young, I think. Uh, there was always horses on my father's farm. He was riding a bit, so it came very natural. He was somehow, it was exciting and uh, to be with the animals and try to teach them to do things together with us. There was somehow, there was really exciting to try to, to fix that. Casal Aski had a, a little bit special uh, beginning of his career. As a young horse, he was a bit spooky. He saw ghosts a little bit everywhere. It's normal for horses that when they see something what they're scared of, they're running away from the problem. They don't go and fight for it. In the very early beginning, I would say, uh, I, I didn't really see that I could go so far like we have been doing together now these days. And slowly but slowly, I brought him up in the bigger classes. And maybe after a few years, we realized that he has more scope than we actually thought in the beginning. We are here now, he's 16 now, and he's still happy to do his work. Bengtsson keeps Castle Ask at the stables he runs with his business partner, Bo Christofferson, in a picturesque setting that provides everything a horse could need, including regular grooming, medical care, and a carefully planned diet. I feed Casal normally a mix of a type of muesli, um, black oats, and lucerne. And he gets that three times a day. And a half hour before feeding, he will get hay. <laughs> I am quite strict with what he eats. He himself, he doesn't like sugar. He likes carrots and apples, but uh, nothing sweet. No peppermint, no polos, no, no uh, sugar or anything like that. So he's a very healthy horse. I have been very lucky. I've had so many good horses during my career, but uh, I've never had a horse this long as I had Casal now. And of course, you, you grow into be a, a good, very good friends. A 10-year relationship has seen Bengtsson and his horse build up a formidable partnership, finishing second in last year's Global Champions Tour. In the quest for perfection, no detail was overlooked, which means Castle Ask always has the right equipment to suit his needs. This is a bridle. It's a normal bridle, what we have here at, at home, a normal big snaffle on, which is not too, too sharp. And this he normally works in at home. It's nice to ride and then at the show he has a, a little bit, a, a thinner bit to have him to react a little bit quicker when I want to collect him to get him back again. I think it's important that the bit is not too sharp, that the horses has to trust the rider's hand and the bit, that if you let them go that they follow with an egg. The saddle has to fit the horse, otherwise they get hurt or back pain. In his case here, he has been so long with us, so he has his own saddle. This is uh, teamwork now. We know each other, he knows my routines. We try to ride as much as we can outside keep him happy and keep him fresh. As soon as the weather allows us, we, we go out and we have a fantastic place here. We have a good arena which is big enough and you can let them canter. And then of course, in between, change the work for him. He goes out, goes a little bit in the woods and relax and trot and canter out there to keep him happy and he enjoy the life. Bengtsson carefully plans his horse's event schedule to keep him fresh and happy. The Global Champions Tour provides the perfect competition format for Castle Ask and the duo are perfectly positioned to win this year's championship. One thing about him is that he's careful about himself and wants to avoid to, to have a fence down. And that's a good attitude, but if they're too careful, then they may not go up in the highest level because they are maybe not so really fighting for to get over the big, big fences. If I go to a big fence with him, he likes it and he trusts me that he can get over it. I would not put him to something what he can't fix because then he's going to be scared and that's not the point. You want to build things and not uh, to ruin things. He knows me when, when it's time for the big class. He feels that today is the day where we have to both stick together and take everything out of ourselves and do our very best. And last, this horse is also with me. When it's time for the prize giving, you have to be careful that you jump on 
and hold on to your reins because he, he know that today was good. He wants to go in the ring and when he has come in and he's standing there for the prize giving ceremony, he's uh, completely relaxed. He's then uh, the happiest horse in the world. He's bucking and kicking and he's really like it. I have a fantastic record in the Global Champions Tour classes with Casal Hask. That's, uh, that's amazing what he's been doing. I'm looking really forward to come to Doha again. To go there and try to move up a bit on the podium, that would be also really excited to come there and I'm really looking forward for it.